Hi everyone, my name is Jane Chung. I'm going to briefly talk about our project, developing device-free Wi-Fi sensing technology to assess daily activities and mobility in low-income older adults. Let me introduce my project team. I'm the lead PI on this project, and I'm an associate professor at Virginia Commonwealth University School of Nursing. There are two more collaborators on this project, Dr. Yufan Blut and Dr. Ingrid pretzer abuff who are associate professors at VCU. Let me get started. We are currently working with older adults who live alone in low-income senior housing in Richmond, Virginia. About 70% of them are African-American, and they rely on the annual income less than $10,000. Many of them face a higher risk of cognitive problems and dementia, and they lack the necessary resources, information, and adequate dementia screening opportunities. In fact, based on my colleagues' research, it's shocking to learn that over 50% of older adults living alone in low-income housing had mild cognitive impairment without even knowing it. Now, what does this mean? Well, cognitive impairment can make it tough for them to go about their daily lives. Everything from getting dressed to moving around becomes more challenging. That's why it's crucial to identify these issues early on. And we are on a mission to do just that by keeping a close eye on their daily activities and mobility patterns right in their homes. Our ultimate goal is to meet the unmet needs of brain health among socially vulnerable older adults like our study population by developing a cutting edge system that uses unobtrusive Wi-Fi sensing signals to localize and recognize different patterns of daily activities and mobility. In order to meet this goal, we created a Wi-Fi sensing solution that can be deployed unobtrusively in residences of older adults. What this technology does is that it processes the channel state information of the collected Wi-Fi signals and extract features of different in-home activities. Every human action generates unique changes in nearby Wi-Fi signals, and that enables us to recognize and localize different activities without any additional device. We anticipate that our system will automatically categorize and quantify daily activities. In this pilot study, we install our Wi-Fi sensing solution continuously over a week in homes of low-income housing residents. The system will collect and process the channel state information of the Wi-Fi signals from several activity scenarios, such as sitting, walking, meal preparation, watching TV, phone use, entering and exiting the home. These activities will be videotaped for generating ground truth annotations for testing the accuracy of the machine learning algorithms derived from the proposed system. We'll examine the association of our Wi-Fi sensing-based activity and mobility metrics with self-reported health data. Also, we'll compare the levels of Wi-Fi sensing-based measures between older adults with and without cognitive impairment. This study can make a valuable contribution to the smart home technology science and machine learning capabilities for early detection of cognitive decline, particularly among socially vulnerable older adults. Because sensing devices are not readily available to this population due to cost and information barriers, our passive sensing device has the potential to identify individuals at risk for cognitive decline by assessing the level of physical function by tracking their in-home activities and mobility behaviors over time. So this is the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.